Well, basically, I've been working with Rob Freitas on the Nanofactory collaboration. We've got a website, and our primary focus is the development of nanofactories. And a nanofactory is a device which would be able to build most structures, most arrangements of atoms that are consistent with physical law and would be able to do so inexpensively. Well, we think this is going to take decades. We don't think it's going to be five years. We don't think it's going to be 50 years, but somewhere in between. And obviously, we'd like to develop it as rapidly as possible. I think one of the things, one of the messages I would like to convey is that how long it takes to develop depends on what we collectively do. If we have a concerted effort, a focused effort, a well-funded effort, then we can develop these technologies more rapidly and we can get the benefits of them more rapidly. How do you balance uh, the need of working on the foundational part which will enable applications or tools to be developed to further your goals on one hand and popularizing the concept on the other, teaching or talking or writing about it? Well, somehow we managed to strike a balance. Obviously, there's a lot of literature available. You can go to our website if you want, or you can uh, look at my website or my nanotechnology website. There are a variety of uh, articles up there. We have published articles. Also, I give some talks on, on this subject and related subjects in nanotechnology. Um, somehow we managed to do it. So do you find that in some uh, countries or some areas uh, there is a better acceptance than others for, for your way of looking at things? Well certainly if you look at acceptance you find that for example we're Rob and I are primarily theoreticians. We've primarily been looking at computational studies on the various things. We've recently uh, allied ourselves with an experimentalist in England to pursue some experimental efforts. He's gotten funding in England. Uh, I think that's, it, it's interesting that he could get funding in England. Uh, it's, it's not clear how easily you could get that kind of funding in the United States, given the kind of goals that we're seeking, given the kind of goals that are, you know, sometimes controversial. So do you see any change in the attitudes uh, in uh, the new uh, administration and uh, the uh, rational, pragmatic approach uh, that it has taken with the appointment of, uh, as it seems, um, innovative uh, uh, people to the new roles of being the CTO, for example, of the U.S. government. Well, we're certainly hoping that the uh, Obama administration will be funding the, the kind of innovative research and nanotechnology that we're looking forward to. And if that's the case, of course, then that would speed the development of this new technology, which would be a marvelous thing for all parties concerned. So it is definitely the case that better resources, uh, more people working on, can help accelerate uh, uh, your plans, your projects, and potentially achieve breakthroughs even. Uh, There's no question field. about it. The speed with which a project or a goal can be achieved often depends on the kind of funding which is used to support that, the kind of resources that are made available to support that goal or objective. It, it is the case. If you strive to achieve a specific goal, you are more likely to achieve it than if you don't strive to achieve a vague and unstated goal. It seems to be a true statement. Uh, if um, a, a young person um, starting uh, his or her undergraduate or graduate studies or going into a PhD um, program uh, would like to consider um, analyzing or, or following uh, your uh, research uh, area, what would your recommendation be? What should uh, uh, their steps uh, be? Well, the first thing you can do is check some of the websites to see what's recommended. I have some web pages, other people have web pages who suggest things to study if you want to enter the area. As you look into a, a broader range of skills and capabilities, it's useful to look and see exactly where your own interests and where your own abilities can be brought to bear as you learn uh, more deeply about some specific subject. But by and large, you can't go wrong with computational chemistry, molecular mechanics, oh, and artificial self-replicating systems, and I'd recommend that you read our book on the subject. Oh, okay.